Usually, you get the Mickey Mutineers podcast, where we talk everything Disney. But sometimes... You get the Mutineer Disaster Hour, where we talk everything else. It's like Duck Duck Goose, the shitty podcast. Oh man, hey guys, how about that intro that I promise will be there? What intro? It's there, Josh. Just rewind. Well, not now. <laughs> Don't rewind. That's going to get confusing. Because if you rewind, like it'll be, you'll go too far and I'll be in the middle of doing my laundry and things are going to get very obscene on this here podcast. Me going too far? Eh, I don't know about that. Like, when we were little, I remember watching shows with Josh and like, remember rewinding you guys on the VHS cassette tapes? Yeah. Josh could never end it or stop it in the right spot. Would he always go too far? Too far. Too far. (laughs) Jillian's here! Jillian had a car rewinder. A car rewinder? Oh, I remember those. Is this, is this I remember you can rewind those. your car? <laughs> you know what? It takes the mileage right off. <laughs> yeah. It's like you just hook... hook. <laughs> Ask Ferris Bueller. It works. You, you just hook yeah. a drill to the odometer and, you know, put it backwards. And... Jillian, that's illegal! It's a crime. Or you'd get charged an extra dollar if you returned the tape and it wasn't rewound. Or have you returned a card? It wasn't Ruan. <laughs> Josh, what are you doing? You need to stop shuffling. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm getting a breath mint, man. I'm oh, sorry. okay. Buddy, you're the only person in your hotel room. Why do you need a breath yeah, mint? Because it fucking tastes good. Is that okay, Jordan? Do I have to fucking justify everything I do to you? Yes. Good. For the next ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why why are we putting a such a time limit on this? Yeah, well, I'm gonna go back to my room. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is a disaster already. But yeah, well, that's our whole way we're living up to that. <laughs> so Jillian, I hope you're ready for an, the show them, <laughs> for an hour of this. Anyway, Josh, I I want to talk real quick about where you are. Where are you? I'm in Tonopah, Nevada. Not not Tonopah, Arizona. Is there a Tonopah, I don't know Arizona? What's there. Yes. Yeah. Weird. Weird oh. coincidence. Hold on. There it is two... also. It is also in the middle of nowhere. There are two Tonopahs on this planet. Yeah. One is Doesn't too much. Suck? Yeah, that's the worst. Mm-hmm. So what hotel are you in? Jordan, write this down. I'm in the uh, Comfort Inn. Oh, nice. Well, it's, it's strictly across the street, across and down the street a ways from, from the Crown Motel, though. It's like a quarter mile away. What uh, what room number are you in? Uh, I'm not telling you now. What this your... just got weird. What credit card do you have on file? Um, Yours. Shit. Is, it, is it the one that ends? Is it the one that ends with a uh, five one eight six, or is it the one that ends yeah, it's, with it's, uh, six it's, one eight two? It's, it's the one that ends with "fuck you." <laughs> what credit card is that? Those aren't numbers. <laughs> <laughs> huh? It ends in six seven one six. Is uh, and what's what's the uh, what's the security code on the back of the card? Uh, it is also "fuck you." Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good. You get, you getting all that, Jordan? Oh, Jordan. Guess yeah. what? Jordan. Guess yeah. what? I I know What's I know that? I know Josh's mother's maiden name. Oh shit! Do you know? Uh, while you're at it, do you know the first car that he drove? <laughs> yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I know what town he grew up in. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. No shit. <laughs> Idiots. The sad thing is, Josh has no money, so this is going nowhere. <laughs> oh, Josh, congratulations! Oh, yeah. 
Jillian just booked you a grand trip to Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> under her name? It better be under her name. Jillian, you getting commission on this shit? Hey, speaking of booking things, I uh, did a thing this week. A hooker? No. Oh, you're Not in Nevada. Close. And you're outside of Clark County? Yeah, well, I just, I just got here today. Oh, um, so earlier this week. I haven't had... To- I haven't had time for a hooker yet. Uh, well, I guess I, I guess it was last last Friday. This last Friday, I thought I I thought I, the hooker was a uh, post podcast uh, festivities. I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I I I, I, res- I, I factory ordered a uh, a car from the car factory. Factory ordered a car. Yeah, yeah. Went to the dealership and fucking filled out the spec sheet and ordered a car. Oh shit, that's pretty cool. Wait, yeah, did you be just buy a car? No, I haven't bought a car for a long time. Dude, well, I thought you just bought that Cherokee. Well, I mean, that's I paid cash for that. That's that's just my. That's but that was like a year and a half ago. Still, good. Cash. It's just I, this is old old <laughs> thing. I, I I'm getting a brand new freaking Ford Maverick hybrid. Ooh, what, fancy. Jake? What's a Ford Maverick? Uh, nothing. What's a motto with you? <laughs> What's a Maverick with you? Man, if we titled these, um, that would have been the title. It's uh, is it is is it like an actual mm-hmm. sedan or is it? No, it's a it's a it's a compact a subcompact pickup. Ooh, it, it's it's uh you you know that the new Bronco Sport. It's basically that with a pickup bed. Okay. What, Jake? What does subcompact mean? Because I know sub means below, and compact already means small. So is this below a small? <clears throat> yes. So it's a little tyke's car. Well, it, it's still, what's funny, because it's a pickup, it's still larger than a subcompact car. Oh. Because the car I have now is a subcompact car. The Cherokee? No, the little fucking, little Nissan Versa Note. When did you buy that? I had that for like three years. I don't know what you drive. Obviously. <laughs> Who is this? But I get, I get, anyways, I'm getting a hybrid pickup that gets 40 miles to the gallon. Okay. As someone who, nice. di- as someone who drives a hybrid, you're never going to want to go back. It is, I, I mean, I've ran, I've I, ran hybrid. I before. almost nice. I almost went hybrid whenever I bought my car a few years ago, and I kind of chickened out at the last minute. So whenever I go back and I buy another car, I might. I'm like, whatever my my eventual next car will be, I'm probably going to go hybrid. It, it's the wise thing to do. You'll love it. Yeah. Especially yeah, for no, like I, I, driving I, around. I, I, I'm I fucking digging this thing so far, or digging the idea of this thing so far. <laughs> I haven't driven it yet, but I've driven a Ford, a Ford Fusion hybrid, which is, you know, going to roughly be the same chassis and all that shit, so... So you know what this reminds me of? Aren't the batteries on those things expensive, though? Yeah, I'm sure they are. But they last a long time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. But, uh... You know, I, I'll i probably be done with the fucking car before the batteries go dead. Yeah. You, you, you know what this reminds... I feel like, to put this into context, like, Josh factory ordering this car is exactly the same way... Jordan and I feel when we like pre-order action figures. Well, so so what's funny is I told Dad that I I, I factory ordered a Ford Maverick, and the only car he's ever factory ordered in the 1970s was a Ford Maverick. Wait, completely different car than back then, though. I was gonna say these this Ford Maverick has been around since the 70s, and I still have no idea what it is. Yeah, in the 70s it was a little uh, it was a little pony car that was just smaller than a Mustang. Like a subcompact sedan? It, it, well, at that time, it was a compact sedan, yes. But it was... Uh, it, Dad ordered the uh, Boss 302 package on it, which was only factory order. 
in that car now, if he still had it and was in good shape, it'd be worth a lot of money. So dad fucked up by selling the car. I have one more question. Okay. How many times do you guys think I can work in the words subcompact for the rest of the episode? Uh, probably a lot. If, I mean, if you half-ass try. No, I'm going to try real hard. Okay. Starting now. But I don't have anything witty to say about it. <laughs> so. Uh, before we get into our main topic later on. Oh, did, Jordan, did you have something? Nope. Okay, because what I was going to get into is right up your alley. Uh, I had no idea that E3 was this weekend. Yep. I have, I did, I've completely forgot too. I have two things I want to talk about from E3. All right. So real quick, number one, most important of all, there was zero mention of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. It has now been two uh, years. That's because, that's because uh, Nintendo's Direct is tomorrow. Well, that would do it then. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, if, if they're going to announce it, they'll, that'll be... That'll be in the Nintendo Direct tomorrow morning. Okay, that, that didn't count as I well. was actually going to... I was actually going to go back this week and see if there were any kind of, like, Disney-related games coming out, and I was going to do, like, a list for for Mutineers <laughs> next week. Oh, okay, so should we, should, we, should we postpone E3 conversation? No, we can talk about E3. I just... I, I have just haven't specifically heard of any Disney or any Disney specific games that are coming out. So well, I'll do that for the Disney show. Okay. Well then let's tease this real quick because one of the games that has been announced, uh, uh, Jillian showed it to me on Facebook and then Jordan, you actually texted it to us later on that same day. I'm going to say like an hour later, but that sea of thieves pirates of the Caribbean edition. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to, we're going to talk about this next week. Cause yeah, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Yeah, we're all, we're all gonna start a pirate crew, and Jillian, we're, Jillian's in. She's over here saying, that, "Yeah, we're we're all in." I can't play. I can't play Sea of Thieves. Uh, we're not all in. I'm in. I don't what? know if Josh is in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jordan, if you want, I can like FaceTime you, and you can watch me play. Sure, I can just watch it on Twitch. Uh, oh. I guess. Okay. All right. We'll do that. <laughs> Did we lose Josh? I don't know. I, I don't know if we lost him or if he's just pulling a Jordan. No, I think I think we actually lost him. No, he's moving. Oh, there he is. There he is. Uh, the second thing well, I, I want to talk about, one of my favorite game series of all time, that this guy kind of taking a dump in the recent years, the new Battlefield 2042 looks so good. And I can't play it. <laughs> <laughs> I need to upgrade my uh, central processing unit, and then I can play it. But that's a three hundred dollar part, so it's <laughs> big. Uh, I mean, it's better than a five hundred dollar system. That's true. Oh, I, so. I never thought of it like that. So I will be upgrading that in this October. I want to play Battle. I love Battlefield. I, Jordan, I know you're not into first person shooters. It's totally fine. I played Battlefield One. That was a fun one. I did like that one a lot. That was a good one. That was a good one. But I, that, and the only reason I played that is because my love of World War One supersedes my dislike of first-person shooters. <laughs> that was, I'm, I'm just going to say that was a hell of a sentence. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, how many how many video games take place during World War One? I? I could count two. I'm sure there are more, but I've I've only counted two in popular, in popular recent history. Like, all I... I can think of two, and I, I, I seriously doubt the second one I'm thinking of is your second one that you're thinking of. Should we say it at the What's same What's the second time? one you're thinking of? Okay, on the count of three, yeah. ready? One, all right. two, all right. three. Risk World War One edition. Valiant Hearts. What? <laughs> that was a video game? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, shit. I didn't know. It was a video game of the board game. <laughs> Or it's just a map on the regular game. Which, guys, the Risk board game on Steam is free to play now. So if we ever wanted to, like, get pissed at each other, we could stream a game of Risk. I'm 
Does no one, I can't I, do Steam. I've got Mac. Oh, does Steam not work on Mac? No. Yeah, it's not Mac friendly. <sighs> well, then I will continue to play Risk by myself. Which but I, I'm about to get a bigger hard drive for this. And when I do that, I might be able to partition it and put Windows in. <laughs> Thanks, Jillian. She's wooing my solo Risk. Wait, Josh, does your does your new truck come with a hard drive? Yeah, yeah I, I hope so. Oh, there you go. Kind of computer shit on it. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you you could play. Okay, Josh, you're gonna play Risk with me on your truck, Jordan. Do you have like a high end toaster or a Samsung refrigerator? Oh, dude, I want a Samsung refrigerator. I, I do not. <sighs> okay, you know what? I might just have to come to Jordan's house with a with a with an old fashioned and an old timey like physical board game of risk with like the figures and everything. If you do, you should bring it over like I don't know, like a Super Nintendo or something too. Well, what do you think I'm gonna pack? I've got a board? Super Nintendo. Oh. <laughs> can, can I borrow it for packing material? Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Oh, it was such a good joke. <laughs> that one time Jake used a Nintendo 64's packing material. <laughs> I, man. All it's good for. How dare you? Jordan, have you played it? I can play Beetle Adventure, right? Uh, I haven't been able to play it lately just because I haven't had time. I, I want to go and get a, some new controllers for it. Not that the controllers you sent me are bad, but like the joysticks are a little loose and wobbly. Yeah, so right. it's kind of hard to like they work, but like it's you got to really like work at it to make it work. Well, they're 25 years yeah. old, so <laughs> I hate yeah. it when my joystick gets all loose and wobbly. Did you yeah. Did you just mute me? <laughs> no, you accidentally muted yourself, and it was hilarious because yeah. I saw the reaction on your face. You were so surprised. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> You're like, what? Nice. <laughs> no. I don't even know how to mute people in this. Wait. No, I better not try, try now. I don't want to try. No, I'm not going to. Let's uh, see. I can click on you and I can go mute. You know, yeah, it's you, right there. It's easy. You, I, can, I, can even, I, I can unfocus you. Are you even focused as it is? <laughs> I'm, I'm in and out. Focus. <laughs> Wait, is there really an unfocus option? That's weird. Yeah, I don't know what it does. I don't want to push it. No, don't do it. Like, oh, I mean, I kind of want to push it. Like, but... what if you push it? My entire room, like on my end, like my my three dimensional space just went blurry. That would freak me out so bad. Well, now I'm pushing it. No, don't push <laughs> it. Are you insane? You'll ruin the yeah, podcast. Yeah. Oh, that? That's what's going to ruin it? Yes. So anyway, real quick, we, we got way off track because it is a disaster hour. We do have a main topic coming up here shortly. But first, I want to go back to the Clown Motel, Josh. Okay. Just tell me about the Clown Motel. Tell me everything you know about the Clown Motel that's down the street from you right now. And it's creepy as fuck and there's like clown statues in the goddamn hotel rooms. Like, other than those, the rooms actually look kind of nice. Wait, in the room? Like, there's one room, there's one room with a goddamn clown hiding in the closet. <laughs> and the poltergeist room with the clown under the bed. <laughs> so... Yeah, yeah, it's, uh... God, where's the pictures of the rooms? Yeah, the rooms don't look terrible until you realize there's fucking clowns everywhere. So, like, what... Like, like this the should, fact that this like, hotel this is, the is like in lobby. the middle of this, nowhere this, this is, is ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, like saying the middle of nowhere is an understatement. Like, <clears throat> Jake, I know you've been through Tonopah. Jordan, I know you have not. Yet. But look at Tonopah on the map. Look at Tonopah on the map. It's literally in the fucking middle of nowhere. It's two hotels. It's the one Josh is in and the Clown Motel. It used to be a booming mining town. And, and the Clown Motel is next to the old cemetery. The Clown Cemetery? It's this big. 93 clowns are buried there. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. 
It's a uh, it's that's good. I'm on fire tonight. Yeah, you should put it out. Okay. Mm. This one's got a giant fucking painting of Pennywise. Could you sleep next to that shit? Is that Wait, real? Are we one hundred percent sure that yes. there, is that a room in that hotel? Yes. Are we one hundred percent sure that's a room in that hotel? Because that was. Because yes. I think a clown. I, I'm pretty sure a clown mo- hotel or motel would know not to paint Pennywise <laughs> in one of their. They rooms. got a painting of this clown in a different room. Oh, that is the same style. I, I don't. No, go back to the Pennywise. Go back to the Pennywise picture, Josh. Now that like those rooms had very. Oh, Jesus, I just found one that was worse. Where did it go? What did I do? What clown is worse than Pennywise? Besides, like John Wayne Gacy. <gasps> is there a John Wayne Gacy clown in there? Oh, there's John Wayne Gacy in here. Oh no! Where did it go? Oh, look! This is a fucking another painting in that same hotel. Wait, that's Michael Myers. Yeah. I noticed. No, no, put it back up. Jordan didn't see it. I now no, now I'm looking at it now. No, that there's no way that is in that well, hot, motel. Not not to be confused with Mike Myers. <laughs> Both would be scary though, painted on the motel room wall. Oh, I mean, you got a point there. <laughs> oh, this one's got this one's got Jason Voorhees. Th- this isn't a clown motel anymore. This is well, I was gonna say it's a nightmare, but Clown Motel is already a nightmare. Jillian, would you stay at a Clown Motel? The whole fucking... No, the world famous Clown Motel. Not just a Clown Motel. The Clown Motel. Look, the other Clown Motels in the world is the Circus Circus in Reno and the Circus Circus in Vegas. Stay in the ones. It's what? Although I have stayed Circus Circus in Reno. I know, I was there. <laughs> <laughs> I won a little mug by playing skee ball, which is the greatest arcade game of all time. Nothing will ever compare to skee ball. Well, what was it? What, what, was it? Was it the casino in Gene or the casino in Prim where I won like two hundred fifty bucks in quarters? Oh, it was Prim. It was Buffalo Bills. You know how I know? I've never been to Gene, so okay. <laughs> like, it, it, does Gene even exist anymore? Uh, it's there. I think the skydiving school is still there. And I'm not making this up, but for anyone, hey, Jillian would say at Circus Circus, mm, prove it. Uh, if anyone's played Fallout New Vegas, the Gene Skydiving School's in that too. It's halfway between Vegas and Prim. Oh. Hey, uh, <coughs> fun fact. Kind of. Fun I, fact about Fallout New Vegas. with the owner of that school? Mm. Anyways. Fun fact about Fallout Anyways. New Vegas. That is the first video game that I streamed by myself right here on this Twitch channel. And the only comment I got was from Jordan <laughs> saying, what the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I remember tuning in whenever you were playing. I was, it was just a test run. I was like, I haven't played this for a while. So I did that. And I, I knew Vegas, man. I knew after Jordan said that comment that my <laughs> video game streaming days were over. <laughs> So, one thing I liked on New Vegas is is you could go up to Black Mountain and look over Henderson and see where the chemical factory blew up. Oh yeah, the 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 Pepco factory. Yeah, yeah that that was that was a real thing. That was a large. Yeah, that was really. Yeah, it's like it's funny because it's like. That, that that's where my buddy's last house was like i mean obviously the factory's not there anymore because it was demolished but <laughs> almost they instantly put a neighborhood up in that area yeah they put a neighborhood up in that area for anyone who doesn't know you can watch this explosion on youtube it's the pepco explosion what did they make there like aluminum or rockets or something <laughs> maybe aluminum it was it was solid rocket fuel <laughs> solid rocket fuel aluminum Oh, al- aluminium. Wait, Jillian just said that Salem is in Fallout 4. Jillian, do you live in a video game? We all do. Let's just admit it right now. This is a simulation. Oh, I- I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I mean... Hold on. Hold that thought, Josh. Hold that thought. The podcat is gone. Wait. 
Yeah, well, she was here when I started that sentence, and then <laughs> she walked away. Oh, the podcast is here! Okay, guys, I'm going to make a button and a graphic and a jingle about the podcast. So every time Stella shows up, or any podcast really, but mostly Stella, she, she's going to have her own little thing. Even, even Jillian pointed her out. She just said kitty. <laughs> Good kitty. Wait, Jordan, I can't hear you. <clears throat> Nothing. Oh, I put him on mute. No. You should you should unmute yourself. <laughs> I, well, Jordan that, figures that, this that's out. That's the problem. <laughs> There's a cat. <laughs> that is that is Sauron's red eye. <laughs> no, the problem is that he got vaccinated and now he's magnetic, and it's shorting out his microphone. That's not how any of that works. Although I do want to point out that after I said the thing about making the podcast jingle, Jillian's over here said saying that she looks forward to seeing that in five to seven years. So I appreciate that she understands my timeline of projects. <laughs> huh? No, now you're on mute. Yeah. No, it's still nothing. No, no, nothing. No, I'm concerned. What the hell oh, happened? Oh, wait! Now you're here! Okay, there you go. Because I heard what the hell happened. Oh. <laughs> what the hell happened? You just happened? had a swear at <laughs> just right. You unlocked the secret code, Jordan. I didn't do anything. <laughs> you unlocked the oh, secret Now I can't hear him again. No, yes, you can. Don't do that, Josh. Yes, you can. <laughs> you can't go jo Jordan aneurysm. Jordan, we can hear you. You okay. Put, you put your hand up, and then I put my hand up, and then I realized you were just going to pet your cat. I thought we were taking a note. Oh. <laughs> oh. Can I, can I? Oh, well, Jake, Jake, Jake should we hey. do secret handshakes on air sometime? Mm. Yes. What's that right. stupid well, we'll TikTok trend of, like, all the anti-vaxxers who are kind of putting up their three fingers? It's like, where are all my anti-vaxxers at? That and then it plays a stupid whistling song in the background. <laughs> That's from the Hunger Games. Fucking hate it. That so I fucking hate it. That is from the Hunger Games. It's the stupidest thing. A story about overthrowing a fascist government. <laughs> oh, the fucking irony. Right. The fuck. Oh my god. I mean, the, the, when I say that, that's what the story is about. That's putting it like as com as subcompact as I could. Mm -hmm. I mean, Star Wars is about throwing, overthrowing a fascist government, too. So, I mean. It's true. And Hunger Games is just a Star Wars ripoff. There, I said it. It's not. <laughs> it's not at all. <laughs> Doing it is just a Star Wars ripoff. <laughs> so, so Jillian's over here <laughs> says, so anti-vaxxers watch the Hunger Games? Yikes. Mm. That, that's just them watching their <laughs> fridge. I know. I, no. I still like the thought of the anti-vaxxers finally wearing their masks because they're afraid of catching what the vaccine is giving people. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> I can feel my spike proteins just washing off of me. <laughs> you, 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 know what the, you know what the vaccine gave me? Motherfucking freedom to not wear a mask. <laughs> but it was something else that gave Josh that rash. So well, that's that's another topic for another time. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, that's that's the next hours. disaster hour. <laughs> Main topic on the next disaster hour: What is this rash on Josh's upper thigh? No, the other thigh. Well, that one too, but we'll come back to that. That's two <laughs> <laughs> two disaster hours. We're getting ahead of ourselves. <laughs> but for for tonight, for tonight's disaster hour. Okay, first of all, Josh came up with this topic, and I just realized I'm pretty sure I have not told him that we're doing this. Because when we announced it last no, week... No, you told him. Oh, did I? Remember, because, because I, uh, I asked you what the criteria was, and you said something along the lines as, your idea is stupid. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> was I wrong? No, no, I just... I fucking text you things because I'm going to forget it. So, I mean, <laughs> well, no, you, can't, you, you can't surprise me and told me it was Stella's idea, for fuck's sake. Stella, we're doing your idea. Get back <laughs> yeah. here. Yay, podcast. 
<laughs> That's the jingle. <laughs> the jingle. Nah, just... It's got to be a little more. It's got to be a little more monotone than that. Yay, pot. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. I, I, I got just isn't the guy. Just the red. Isn't that just the red robin? Yeah, yeah. You gotta do it like the red robin song. Wait, hold on. I, I, I got a guy here. Hold on, guys. This, you, you give me super excited. Hold on, hold on. Did he just say he's got a guy there? Yay, podcast. Yeah, wall. Hi, everybody. Wait a minute. I'm gonna go. Wall. <laughs> How did? Wait a minute. You just got here. I just kind of showed up. I don't know what I'm. This this is not where I parked my car. This is. Wait a minute. That's my line. <laughs> that's... I thought. I thought. Uh, what 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 took you so long to get to Jake's new apartment? Oh. Yeah, I know. That doesn't answer my question. I don't. I don't so much walk. I just kind of <sighs> like that. Oh, right, so you clear your throat? What does that mean? Just, just grinding along like Gumby. But Gumby can walk. I th- I, th- I thought he slid. Doesn't he like skate everywhere? Like he's on ice all the time. Gumby, but he's well, he's got legs. Gumby skates everywhere to cut down on animation frames and budget. <laughs> I feel sense. like this is an oddly specific thing for Wall to know. I have to go now. Bye, guys. I love you all. I love you, Wall. <laughs> I'm lonely. Whoa, everybody! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jillian. Jillian said Wall is smart. <laughs> it's the nicest thing anyone's wow. ever said just, about him. It's been like two years since Wall's Jake, made an appearance here. Jake, do you do you make that voice when you masturbate by any chance? What voice? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> the, wall, the Wall voice. I can't do Wall's voice. <laughs> oh yeah, you should try. <clears throat> it's the Muppet Show with... Oh, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> it's the only voice I can do. Grandma the Frog here. Anyway, our main topic this week on this week's Disaster Hour. So Josh wanted to do this thing where... The listeners, and Jillian, you, you need to throw one out because I didn't hear from you today. Listeners and Twitter friends and everything, they, they threw out uh, some superheroes at me, at us, at all of us. And what Josh wants to do is what we're going to use those superheroes' superpowers for in menial day-to-day tasks. Right, Josh? Stella? Who? <laughs> I, think, I think that was the, the, the general gist of it so I basically did... it, if like everybody's got superpowers but you know but we just use it for just boring everyday shit because everybody's got superpowers oh is that what it is so so wait everyone has superpowers basically yeah i just thought we had these well, superpowers or, 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 we, or, or we do and we just we don't use it for anything special it's just day, day-to-day things yeah so yeah. we need a superpower all right, so first up, from Twitter user at Viking underscore Hess. No relation. Say that's not my Twitter thing. <laughs> no, but really? It's your, it's your daughter's. <laughs> no, well, it's, it's one degree away from you. <laughs> when I said no relation, I meant to Jordan. <laughs> yeah. No relation to Jordan. So... She threw out something that I would expect her to throw out. Uh, Deadpool. So first of all... Deadpool's not a superpower. (laughs) No, that's... But Deadpool has a superpower. What are Deadpool's superpowers besides, like, the power Uh, of annoyance and irritability? I mean, like, if I had, like, one of his superpowers is regeneration. I would be selling my kidneys every fucking day on the black market. 
that is a really good... But no, you can't because one thing I know about Deadpool is these kidneys are cancer-ridden. Josh, you can't be, just be selling cancer-ridden kidneys. Not my fault they keep fucking buying them. It's a black market. That is entirely 100% your fault. If you are the seller, 100% your fault. But it's a, it's a black market. Okay, first of all, do you know... Where, where, where is the black market? What does what, the black market do with kidneys? Where is the black market? They make necklaces out of them. I don't know. It's on the dark web. Uh, where's the dark web? It's Why have I not found this? <laughs> Over by the deep state? <laughs> no, because the, the dark web actually exists. So, <laughs> But to access it, you have to first defeat the keeper of the dark web. But, which, which is Giuseppe. I, I don't know what I would do with Deadpool's powers on day-to-day -day tasks, so. Like, his powers are pretty... Over the top and ridiculous? Well, this is well, why... that too. This is why I started with Deadpool, because... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a tough one. I, I, we might have to circle back around to that. All right. So, <laughs> next up... Um... Jordan, you got to help me with this last name because this is one of those things where I've read the last, I, I've read the last name, I know it, but at Benson Kalur? Yep. Yeah, this is one of those things where like I've read I, I've read that name for years, and this is the first time I've said it out loud. And like as I was introducing it, I was like, oh shit, I don't actually know how to say that. But anyway, so his reply was just <laughs> he says this superpower. And then he sends a picture. I don't even know who this is, but it's this guy punching Spider Man right in the butthole. <laughs> <laughs> so. Isn't that like Electro or whatever? That's not Electro. Electro no, has the. I don't think that's Electro. It doesn't There's matter no who it is. He's coming out of his. He's punching I mean, Spider Man that, in that, the butthole. <laughs> so you're. Oh, I know what that would be a good superpower for. <laughs> what? Impregnating well, cattle. I'm let Josh finish first. <laughs> What'd you say, Josh? <laughs> Impregnating cows. I mean, that's, no, really, that that's would be good literally how you get a cow pregnant. You punch him in a butthole, and then you stick what? stick the fucking long stick of frozen it, jizz in their freaking butthole. It's not the butthole. <laughs> well, I know that. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Do you? Because <laughs> you said it with a lot of gusto. Like, you were very sure of yourself on that answer until I questioned it. No. <laughs> I've seen it done before. So Josh would go punch cows in the front butt. <laughs> the front butt. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan, what would you use Spider-Man butthole punching powers for? <laughs> Can't believe out of all the shit we've said on this show, we've never uttered the phrase front butt before tonight. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I would <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I can't wait to put this clip on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Just... Literally the worst <laughs> podcast I've ever heard of. If I had that power, I think it would be it would be very generous of me to work in a medical facility and help people uh, or give enemas for people who were constipated. <laughs> With your fist? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, you just you get in there real good, and they'll they're, they'll feel better in like thirty minutes. <laughs> God, I don't think they would. <laughs> but have you tried it? Oh no. But buddy, there, buddy there, there are websites that exist where people do this for fun. I'm doing it for a medical reason. Oh, 
Oh, how do you know these websites exist? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, right, right. You're the one that said front butt, and I'm. No, wait, Jake said front butt. Never. I didn't mind. say front butt. Jake said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> you know what, Josh? To answer your question, it's called research. It's called research. Guys, Google is free. I can't breathe. <laughs> Got butt punching Jordan over here. <laughs> my favorite That's my part. My name. My favorite part is that he described it as generous. <laughs> yeah, you're helping someone. <laughs> I just hear you go to the Here's some salve. <laughs> You're gonna need that. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't lay on it for longer than five minutes. Are you gonna hand out those inflatable butt donuts? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Good. Then uh, no, that. It's, well, that's it's covered in the cost. That's very generous of you. You're you're absolutely right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wow, I was not expecting that we had spent so much time on that picture, and it was my favorite thing ever. Like, um, my life, my life is good now. We can, we can, we can stop it. Not my life. The, oh, that sounds bad. <laughs> Don't lie about that, Josh. Okay, next up, I have nothing for that superpower that would co- uh, top that. Uh, next. Oh. Where did Ryan's go? Ryan, friend of the show, he replied with, I need to hear how Gambit came to be banned from all Hera's locations. I think we all know how Gambit got banned from all Hera's locations. Counting cards. Yep, I'm so, counting cards. It's illegal. You can't do it. You can't do it. There's books about it. Don't read them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I actually don't even think that you're allowed to have those books. <laughs> Ryan's going to listen to like, this. Be so at all? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's like top of the book burning list. How to count cards. <laughs> Followed immediately by Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. <laughs> but number one is how to count cards. What? I was still on mute after get my my water, and I've been Wait. adding to the conversation. Just assumed you guys were ignoring me. No, man, you were on mute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know that now. Uh, I just thought we were laughing. No, okay, so like, no, I, 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 think, I think Gambit. He just gets drunk and supercharges the wrong shit, and it blows up. That's all. Now, can a Cajun get I, drunk? I also don't think. I, I also don't think counting cards is illegal. That's one hundred. I think it's just. Uh, it is not physically possible for a Cajun to get drunk. Thank you. That's mm-hmm. not even mm-hmm. a superpower. That's just hereditary. No, Wait. Science, science, yeah, science check that. Do you mean sober? I think you mean sober. I mean, <laughs> if the spectrum is just one thing, <laughs> and, and to them that one thing is called normal, I, I feel like I, I, I feel like you're both right. <laughs> <laughs> The Venn diagram of this is a perfect circle. (laughs) The band? No. Maybe. I do like one of their songs. No, but like... Oh, man. That's one more song from them that I like. Have you heard this song? I've probably heard all of their songs. Oh. So I was driving today in the middle of nowhere in Nevada, right? What? This is a whole different tangent just because I heard the police sirens. Come around a corner in front of me, cops got the freaking the, the road blocked off. 
So I start slowing up, thinking maybe it's an accident. No, like stop, nasty accident. stop. I'm the first one to get there after the cops. No, I but, need you to stop. Did you just say slowing up? Yeah. Uh, no. I said this. I said I was the first one to get to show up after the cops got there. I don't know. Pretty sure Jesus. you said slowing up, and oh. I will not stand for that. Uh, I was, I was, uh, well, I was slowing down because. I thought it was an accident, and, and you know, and I was the first one to get there after the cops. But then I started realizing there's like six cop cars. Oh, buddy, and that's like not an accident. All of them, all of them got their fucking guns out and were pointing at another car. Yeah, it was. So I got to see a fucking bunch of people get arrested today. In Harris? No, it was uh, in the middle of nowhere, Nevada. But not Harris. Yep. Yeah, okay. I mean, there yeah. is some Harris out in the middle of nowhere. No, no, it was it was it, it was not Gambit. No. All right. So last up on this list, I, I'm very excited for this one. I saved this one for last. Uh, at Disflix Tidbits, uh, Cassie. She writes, and these are real. She specified that these are real super powered people. I was gonna say superheroes, but. I'm, I don't even know if one's a hero. I know one's not a hero, so. But the first one she wrote Arm Fall Off Boy. And I looked it up. Arm Fall Off Boy is completely real. Arm Fall Off Boy. Like a real comic. All right. Book what, what comic scanner is he? Is it- I hope. Uh, apparently, he's going to be in the new Suicide Squad, played by Nathan Fillion. So he's a DC okay. character. Uh, the DC. I'm going to fall what, off. What, boy. Real, what would I what? use? Well, real quick, let me specify what his powers are. I got mine. Okay. Does his arms fall off or does he make other people's arms fall off? Good question. Very good question. Because if I heard arm fall off, boy, you might assume that he does make other people's arms fall off. But no, his arms fall off. And then he uses them as clubs, as blunt force weapons. <laughs> With what? His arms? <laughs> well, maybe he just does one at a time. So, Jordan, what, what, what would you? Ha- does that? Does what okay. you would do still fall in line with that? Uh, partially. I'm still going with it, though. All right. All right. You ready? Yes. I would use this power. To get out of doing chores. <laughs> I, 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 I would <laughs> use it for when people said, hey, can you give me a hand? <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hey, Jordan, can you, uh, I don't know, can you go take out the trash? And then you just stare at them. And then your arm just drops up to the ground. Like, sorry, can't do it. I only have one arm. <laughs> That's disarming. Just, both of them just fall off, and when they turn around, you just... Well, pick them up? <laughs> <laughs> you just had to, like, roll onto them. <laughs> just, just both arms on oh. the ground, staring at them all sad. Man, no, what I can't if... take out the trash. What if... <laughs> What if, say you were at a, in a social setting and somebody across the room was just being really loud and obnoxious, but you were all the and way on the other side of the arm room, arm what if, no, no, you don't throw your whole arm at them. What if you just go and act like you're about to punch them? But you're all the way across the fucking room, and then that's when you turn on your arm fall off power, and your arm just flies off of your body <laughs> through the air and just punches that person across the face <laughs> after your arm soars across. I, the I room. like how we just made this. We just made this into a Bollywood movie. <laughs> it's a projectile punch. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I like. So Jillian chimed in oh. over here. She said that arm fall off boy is just a crappy Bucky. And she's not wrong. <laughs> oh, that's true. So, what I would do with this power is I would teach kids lessons. 
like if they didn't say that they, <laughs> that they drank all the milk. You've been watching the development again, haven't no. you? No. Or like if they left the windows open with the air conditioning running, arms fall off. And that's why you always leave a note. <laughs> Oh, hell. <laughs> I mean, I, I knew a guy like that. I'd call him, but apparently he died when I left the dome light on in the back seat of the car while Dad was driving. <laughs> <laughs> so the last one we got... All right, what's next? Uh, also still from Cassie. And this one is in Suicide Squad. And I'm very excited. Polka Dot Man. Now... I'm vaguely familiar with Polka Dot Man, but I had to look him up. He has polka dots on his suit, and he can pull yeah. them off, and they all do different things. For example, <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> One polka dot is a flying buzzsaw dot, which is exactly what <laughs> he just pulls it off, and suddenly a flying buzzsaw, which... I'm going to say about 90% as cool as Projectile Punch. Not not quite there, but just just subcompact below that. So it's just, you know, like Odd Jobs hat? With, yeah, but that was just one dot. He, he has many dots, Josh. What is a flying saucer dot? He pulls that off, boom, like Jetson's car flying saucer. <laughs> I hope it makes the same noise. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I was going to try and make the noise, but in my head it sounded just like the Roadrunner. Meep, meep. <laughs> yeah, why would a Jetson car sound like that? That's ridiculous and silly. Nothing. I know. <laughs> Another dot. Well, why would a Roadrunner sound like that? Why would a Roadrunner sound like... Stop it. Do, they even make, do Roadrunners even make sounds? No. Yes. You know the sound they make? They, like a... Like a, ch like a chicken sound? I sit there and talk to the Roadrunners at work. Uh, another uh, dot you're is... You're the Roadrunner whisperer. <laughs> yeah. I sit there and I'm like, hey, hey, Roadrunner, come here. I got some bird seeds. See that coyote over there? With the anvil? <laughs> Where did he get that? If you fuck up that coyote, it's all yours. <laughs> anyway, he has a bunch of different dots. One of them is a whole dot. Whole, not not like the entire dot, but like a like a hole, like a hole, like like from Roger Rabbit. So anyway, this guy just has holes, and there's got to so be it's an opposite. So it's an opposite dot. A what? An opposite dot. Oh, oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> so, how would we use these does dots? He like, does he just reach in that one and like? Does he just reach in that one? That's where he hides his pins and his wallets, and that's where he hides his heart. It's so Josh. fucking stupid. <laughs> what if he just hides more dots in there? <laughs> He's got a whole subcompact <laughs> car in there. Pull pulls out the Warner's sister. <laughs> what if one of those dots was Dot? <laughs> I don't know what I would use that for in everyday life. Or fingerprints. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> That was a deep cut Animaniacs <laughs> reference. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I'm just going to focus in on the flying saucer dot. My commute is going to be amazing from now on. But just to work. Like, and maybe some errands around town. I'm not going to go road tripping in the flying saucer. That'd be that'd be irresponsible. And for all I care, unacceptable. Pretty yeah, subcompact. The, the, the U.S. Then the U.S. Navy sees it, makes videos of it. They eventually leak out 15 years later. You know. No, that wasn't me. Uh, no, I, I think the whole dot would be just as good for that. I mean, is it like the... Like like a teleportation hole or what? Where's the other end of the hole? Yes. 
I mean, because that could be super fucking useful for a lot of things. Like, you know, golf courses. <laughs> no, you're right. Hold on. Throw it on the ground. Whoa. Like, instead of like, because Jordan just found cut. out this last week that I cut cups and how that process yeah. happens. Imagine if you could just yeah. pe- peel it up and just move it. It just, just throw it down somewhere else. Stick the flag in it. Hope that, that it has a bottom. <clears throat> Problem is, I, I would think that that hole would have to go to a different dimension, and now you got a dimension that's just full of fucking golf balls. Not my problem. And, you you know, know what that tells me? In a guy, in a guy's arm. <laughs> what does that tell you, Jordan? What? That tells me <laughs> that you have an anywhere bathroom. What's an anywhere bathroom? Oh! You take yeah. the hole, and you toss up, you get something, and you just pee in the hole. An anywhere bathroom! Uh, all you got, all, all you got to do is just slide it down your pants. <laughs> that could be risky. <laughs> you want to keep it on the inside of your pants. You don't want to go into the underwear because suddenly you you have an you have an anywhere ween, and you don't know where that is. <laughs> could be anywhere. <laughs> But now it's a glory hole. <laughs> oh, anywhere ween should be the title of the episode. <laughs> oh, I hope you're happy, Cassie. I hope you're happy. You did this. <laughs> so, uh, guys, do you mind if we wrap this up and call it a, call it a night? Sure. Uh, I'm perfectly fine with that. <laughs> All it's right. Got weird. <laughs> <laughs> this got weird. Fifties. I don't think we're gonna top anywhere ween. <laughs> anywhere ween, and the uh, what was the the word you described your anim- animals as? Generous. <laughs> anywhere ween and the generous <laughs> animals. <laughs> sounds like my good band fucking... name. That's a death metal band. <laughs> hey, listener, stay tuned next week. We're going back to the Mickey Mutineers podcast. So more Disney stuff is coming your way. And until then, I don't know, go play with your anywhere, Ween. What do I care? Psst.